really thank you all very much for coming. This is a dream come true for me. I started a decade ago talking about what I knew was going to be a coming energy crisis. Understand that the oil industry has had their subsidies for more than 100 years and in the process has created the wealthiest industry in this world. We can do the same with renewables. All of you who are close observers of Congress know that we have lots of unfinished business uh, when it comes to clean energy and energy efficiency policy. Um, every day, every project we work on, it's um, highly dependent on government regulation. So federal policy is critical to any of these new technologies. One, one big problem for geothermal is just the upfront costs and so policies can help to take away that risk for companies. Uh, federal policy completely drives the solar market. It's the reason that the solar market's around. So, AWEA has been, our top priority for the last year has been to extend the production tax credit for wind energy. We really need the certainty that federal policy offers, and we need it soon to see these industries continue <laughs> to grow. There is no one technology that solves your energy security, reliability, and power quality problems. It really is a blend, and an elegant blend of technology. 70% of the Earth is covered in water, and if you take up all the potential for marine and hydrokinetic throughout the United States, the United States could achieve 10% of our nation's electricity supply from the marine and hydrokinetic sources. If you're driving down the side of the road and you see a smokestack where you see an oil and gas flare, that's a prime location for heat that's being wasted. And what these companies do is we take that heat and we use a heat exchanging process to generate emissions free electricity. Uh, fuel cells and hydrogen energy technologies are the all of the above energy technology. And ethanol is great for your car, it's great for the environment, it's great for your economy. So we consider these wireless light fixtures and that our source of power is 93 million miles away and it is what allows us to bring in that natural light into space. Uh, by, by using this technology, when the glass is turned on, it's the next best thing to an actual wall. The engine, we often do a white handkerchief test where we'll put a white hanky on the end of an exhaust and you can, it comes out clean, it smells clean, there's, there's no visible smoke or emission, it makes it smoke clean near zero emission. Glad to be here at the expo. It's a great opportunity to meet people, come to DC, and and talk to all the people that are involved in this area. And uh, it's a great opportunity for us. So we're glad to be here.